Hey guys, this is Blaine with NCK Archers. Today I'm going to do a video on how to wax your bowstrings properly. I'm going to give a few tips and I'm going to do a shout out at the end of the video. Alright, I'll get back to you when I get everything set up. Alright guys, I got the bow all set up. What I'm going to use, what I usually use to wax my bowstring is just a boning seal tight bowstring wax. Um, and a the instruction says, roll tube in hands to loosen. Remove the lid, push wax up from bottom of the tube. Apply liberally to the bowstring fibers. Rub briskly, wax penetrates fibers as it warms. Apply frequently to maximize string life. And that's exactly what it does. After you shoot a while, your strings might start getting frayed. If it's a new bow, it might take a little bit, but when I bought this bow new, I'm going to try to keep the strings as good as possible because really you don't have a bow if you don't have strings. So My strings don't really need it because I just did this the other day, but I was asked to do this, so I'm going to show a video on how to do it. I've seen on some videos that kids like to like rub the, stri what, rub the wax in with like a leather pad or a rubber pad we're just trying to make it quicker but I don't like to do that because really I don't trust anything to go against a string because like I said if it could damage a string you could be out for the season shooting your bow or take a lot of work to get it back in shooting condition so I always like to use my fingers it it'll kind of wear on your fingers a little bit but um, that's just a little price you pay. So the first thing I do is I just usually just put a little bit on. Not a, I'm not going to put as much as I usually on because the strings don't really need it. But I just put it on a little bit everywhere. Even on the cords. I even do the cords usually. I'm not going to do it all like I would if they were actually needed it. But after I've got all the wax on the string, I just get my fingers and just go up and down the string and you'll, you'll be able to tell when it warms up because it will warm your fingers up and then that string will just disappear right into that that wax will just disappear right into the string and you won't even know that it's there it should feel a little bit waxy on the outside but that just means the string the wax is doing what it's supposed to do I really like this boning wax it's the only kind I've ever had so I don't really know if it's that good or not, but it always seems to melt in real easily and it's pretty pretty easy to move around. Like I said, you don't have to do this every time you shoot, but I would because it's only, it, all it's going to do is help your bow. Um, cords, I wouldn't really worry about doing the cords every time after you shoot. Probably just every, probably just once a month. Um, yeah, and just like I said before, I don't really like to use leather pads because I don't like anything rubbing on the string. If it would get too hot, or maybe there was something wrong with the leather pad that it that it rubbed a fray in your line, that could really uh, hurt your uh, season. Alright, so basically all I've done is rubbed all the wax in that I applied to the string, and that's all you, you just you just rub it in. And if you have frays in your line today, I ought to go right away. It works. It's really something else how it works. All right, I'm gonna hang my bow up. I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, that's how I wax my bowstring. And I said I was gonna do a shout out. So I'm gonna do a shout out to Mossy Oak Hunter Three. He's new on YouTube, new in archery. And he, I told him I'd give him a shout out because he because he's new and I've been talking to him a little bit and he seems like a pretty cool kid he has a pretty nice channel so go check him out all right don't forget to comment rate and subscribe guys tell me, tell me if this helped